morning everyone. How are you all? Welcome back. Uh, I am your teacher Aisha. Do you recognize me? So, we are back to our studying and learning once again. And like we always try to learn something new, we will now learn how to study from home. Okay? How are you all? Tell me that first. Did you miss me? Are you enjoying your vacations and are you taking care of yourself? Let's start with English, alright? So first, I need you to take out your English textbook page 68 and 69. If you have done this before, just pay attention. If you have not done this before, then do as the teacher says, okay? So let's start. We have, uh, we are on unit number 13. What a noise, okay? This chapter name is What a Noise. What a noise. Can you see an exclamation mark at the end? It means someone is exclaiming it. Someone is shouting. What a noise. But what noise means? Noise means any sound which is loud, unwanted and also disturbing. For example, if you ever go out in the market or you happen to drive outside you can see that there are so many vehicles on the road and they cause so many sounds like blowing horns and the sounds of them driving by you all have must seen it right so all that unwanted noise disturbing sounds are called noise okay i hope you understood the meaning of noise the first one is about an activity. We can skip it for now. And let's come to the question number B. Look. And these pictures. My, uh, my speaking, okay, and try to listen very carefully because I'm going to ask you some questions. Students, please take a look at the book. Can you see this question? Can you see some pictures here? So I will ask you and then you will answer me. The first picture, look at my finger. Do you see the first picture? What is it? Can anyone tell me? Yes, very good. It's a cycle. So now let's guess which sound the cycle makes. The first one, which sound is this? Mm. Which sound is this? Mm. Which sound is this? Ding, ding. Which sound is this? Tick, tick, tick. And which sound is this? Meow. So the first one, the picture of a cycle, which sound a cycle makes. This one? Very good. This one? No. Then this one? Very good. Which sound a cycle makes? Ching, ching. 
then you can write. Alright? Number two. Take a look in the book, students. What do you see in the second picture? Look at my finger. It's a cow. Uh, one more thing, students. When we finish writing answers here, you can cross it out from the top. Like we finished string, so we can cross it out. The next one we have is cow. Which sound a cow makes? Is it broom? Or moo? Or tick, 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 tick? Or meow? Which one is this? This one? This one? Very good! It's this one. A cow makes the sound of? Let's make a sound all together, okay? A cow makes the sound of? Now take a look at the book. Look at the teacher's finger. Which picture is this? A car. Very nice. Don't forget to cross it out. So which sound a car makes? We have three options left. Vroom. Or mia. Which one a car makes? One, two, or three? So students, before we start exercise C, I would first like to tell you what rhyming words are. If you know what rhyming words are, it will get easier for you to identify them from exercise B. Rhyming words Okay. Words. Please repeat after the teacher. Words. Which. Have. Same. Sound. At the end. I repeat. Words which have same sound at the end. The words which are having the same sound at the end. For example... Fat, cat, set, or hat. Do you see something similar, something same in, in these four words? Like at, 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 at. 
All these four words have the same sound at the end, not at the beginning or not at in the middle. So these are the rhyming words. I hope students that you understand what rhyming words are. Now you will be easily able to solve this exercise. Which read with me, all right? Which of these words rhyme? So students, as I have told you, this portion, this segment is about listening and speaking only. So we will not be writing anything in this question. Alright? In this exercise, we will be choosing, we will be thinking of more rhyming words with these words given in, in, in exercise. <clears throat> Look at the words in exercise B. Which words we had in exercise B? Broom, moo, tring, tick, meow. Which one matches with the first one here? Chick. Which one do you think the words from here, the words in the book, in exercise B, which of those words match with the word chick? I will write these words for you on the board. So these are the words from exercise B. Do you think broom matches with chick? Do you think they both sound the same? Yes or no? No. Very good. Do you think moo matches with chick or rhymes with chick? No. Drink? Is it drink? Do you think drink rhymes with chick? No. What about tick? Do you think it rhymes with chick? Yes. So, that is our first word that rhymes with chick. Alright? Number two. What's the number two? Sing. Which one looks like or sounds like or rhymes like sing? Is it Drink, tick, or meow? Very good, it's drink. Number three, vroom. Which thing makes this sound, can you tell me? Very good, a motorcycle. Do you think it rhymes with meow? No, or it... The worm matches or rhymes with moo? No way. Maybe it's this one. Do you think this rhymes with worm? B R R M or B R R M? Yes, it is. In number four, which word we have now? Students, let's read number four. Which word is this? S H O E makes? Shoe. Very nice. Now look at the spellings. S H O E. Let's see which word from the exercise B rhymes with shoe. Does this rhyme with shoe? No. Does this rhyme with shoe? Number four, we have shoe. It matches with what? Room. It matches or rhymes with this one? Or moo? Room or moo? Yes, it matches with moo. Very good. Clap for yourself. Now the last one is now. How do you spell now? N O W. Let's see. It rhymes with which word.
word from exercise B. We already finished this. We finished move. We finished trend. We finished tick. Which one is left? Meow. It matches with, it rhymes with now. Very good. Now. Now students, we will move on to our next exercise. And let me tell you something. It's singing time. Are you ready? So students, I want you all to pay attention to your textbook. Exercise B. And the teacher will play a song for you. But what do I want from you? Students, I want you to sing with us, okay? I want you to sing with the song that the teacher is going to play for you. Are you ready? Now here comes the book. Please take a look in your textbook, page number 68. Yeah, here is the song in the blue text. Can you see it? Very nice. Now let's start. Are you ready? Now we will be moving towards English textbook page number 69. Before we start this page, I would like to remind you to please every time when we are going to do any page from the textbook or the workbook, you will be required to always write the date first. I would like to remind you to write the date on top of English textbook page 68 that we have just finished and also on top of page number 69 that we are going to start now. I'll give you a minute to do that, okay? All right, students, I hope you have written the date. Now, on page number 69, we will be studying about phonics and words. Before we start our exercise A, the first exercise of this page, we would first like to talk about what phonics are all right all right what phonics are can anyone tell me Anyone can guess what phonics are? I can help you with that. Phonics are the words with Same sound. For example, for example, cow now. Now in these both examples, you could see that cow and now are two completely different words because they both have different meanings. Cow is an animal and now is the time. Now is how we define the time of present right now. So they're both different, but what is same about them? 
The thing that is the same about them is these two letters OW, OW. They're both causing the sound to be like OW, OW, COW, NOW. Because of these two letters, these two words have the same sound. And thus, when the two words are having same sound, we call them both as phonics. Very good. So, students, please repeat after the teacher. Phonics are the words with same sound. Let's say it one more time with the teacher this time. Phonics are the words with same sound. Alright? I hope now you understand what phonics are. Let's come back to our textbook. Page number 69. Take a look at this box. In our first exercise of this page. Read the words with OU and OW sounds. Match the pictures to the words. Now in this box, we are given with two groups of words. One group makes one sound, the other group makes the same sound as that one. Alright? After we finish reading the two groups of phonics given here, we will be matching these pictures with the phonics, with the words given in the boxes, in the box, all right? Let's start. Group number one, please I would like you to repeat after the teacher. House, loud, cloud, out, shout, ouch. So, can you see something same in all these words? What is same about all these words? Very good. The same thing about each word here is O-U, 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 O-U. All these words are phonics. They're all different. They all have different meanings, but their sound is same. Let's come to group number two and let's start reading together. Cow, now, meow, town, brown, down. Now in phonics group number two, you can easily see that there is something same in all these words. And what is that? O W, very good. So all these are also phonics with the different meanings, but their sound is same, so we call them phonics. All right? Now we have finished reading the words with OU and OW sounds. It's a time to match the pictures to the words. Okay? Now look at the uh, look where the teacher is pointing. Can you tell me what this is? Can you tell me the name of this picture? Cloud. Very good. Do you see cloud anywhere here? Yes, it's here. Let's start matching. There we go. Let's match the second picture. What do you see in this picture? Students, look where the teacher is pointing. Can you tell me the name of this thing? A house! Very good! Let's match the picture of this house with the word. Alright? Let's start. There we go. Now, in this picture, can you tell me what's happening? Look closely. Yes, a man is getting hurt in his hand while hammering on the nail. And he's saying, what? 
Ouch! But this one is already done for you, as you can see it in the red line. Let's go to the next picture. What do you see here? A cow! Let's match cow with its word, like that. Very good. You are doing very good. What is in the last picture? What do you see here in the picture? Is it one house? One tree? No, it's a lot of houses. You can see them, right? There are a lot of houses and some trees. It looks like a group of houses, right? A place where people live together. There are neighbors living next to each other. So what is this called? A town. Town is like a small city. Let's match town with its picture. Here we go. So, students, I hope you all have finished matching the pictures with their words by now. And let's move on to exercise B for this page. Exercise B says, use the words in exercise A in sentences of your own. That means we will need to use the words given in exercise A and make their sentences. Are we ready? Let's go. In exercise B, uh, in exercise A, sorry, the words are house, loud, cloud, out, shout, out. I would want all of you students to please take out one paper or rough copy or any extra page and take a pencil in your hand. Write these words in exercise A, group 1 and group 2, okay? When you finish writing these words, leave a space for a sentence after each word, all right? When you finish writing these words from exercise A, I would like you to please make a sentence of your own of each of the word given in this exercise. When you finish all the sentences, please check if you have written everything correctly or not. You can also take help from your mother, all right? Make a sentence of your own. You can make a simple sentence, a very simple sentence with these words in them each, all right? Let's move on to exercise C, which says, Complete these sentences with OU or OW. They make the same sounds. OU or OW, they make the same sounds. We have to complete these five sentences with either OU or OW. In our point number one, let's see what is missing. Is it OU or OW? How will we know if OW will come or OU will come? We will only know about it if we read through them. Let's start reading to know what will be the answer. All right, let's, let's start. A BR-N C- was in Fiza's garden. Now it looks like there was something inside Fiza's garden. We, we will need a picture to see what is in the Fiza's garden. Here is the picture. What is in the Fiza's garden? They have given us a hint, BR dash N. That means only two letters are missing. What it looks like from the picture, also C dash. It's one thing. Let's see. It must be what? Yes. Can you tell me the name of this thing? A cow. Very good. So. Is this cow or this cow? Yes, this one is the cow. Now to write the spellings of cow, we need to know it's O-U or O-W. Do you think it's O-U? Cow. We pronounce it as cow. So it's O-U or O-W? O-W. Very good. Now we know it's a cow. Now, there is a word which is telling us something about the cow. It must be what? Can you see the color? Maybe it's about color. Which color is this? Look where the teacher is pointing. Which color is this? 
very good it's brown color so what what comes here in brown o u or o w o w excellent see you are all doing very fine let's start number 2 ali come here and dash exclamation mark s h dash t e d fizza we need to know what will come here ali come here dash now what is fizza doing she is saying something to ali right look in the picture look at the hands the body gesture what is she doing she is pointing a signal like that and when do we when do we make this hand gesture when do we do this when we want to call someone so when we want to call someone near to you what will you say come here so she is calling ali come here and dash what will come here o u or o w if we if we check it with o u do you think n o u is something no very good so that means the answer will be o w ali come here now that looks like fiza is shouting at ali right so how do you spell shouted it's with s h o u t e d or s h o w t e d sorry i think um it's o u or o w o u very nice all right now number 3 ali ran dash t of the h dash s e ali ran dash t of the h dash s e when fizzak shouted at ali to come outside what ali did he ran out of the house so dash t looks like out how do you spell out o u or o w o u very nice ali ran out of the h dash s e how do you spell house is it h o u s e or h o w s e o u s e very nice number 4 he banged his drum it was very l dash d l dash d what will come here o u or o w students what is a drum it is very low or very loud very loud and how do you spell loud l o u d or l o w d o u very good number 5 the da- uh, sorry the c dash ran dash t of the garden look in this picture do you see a cow doing something yes what is it doing can you tell me I think it's running, right? So, let's start with our sentence. What sense it makes? The dash ran dash t of the garden. So, it's a cow. How do you spell cow? O U or O W? O U. Ran. How do you spell out? Remember we did out before. How do you spell out? O U T. Very good. Students, we have just finished our exercise C. Please start writing. I will give you a minute to finish this exercise. Now let's move to exercise D, the last exercise for this page, all right? Match the words to the picture and write the correct letter next to each word. We need to look at the picture that is given to us. They have They have some things inside the picture. There are so many of them. They look like vehicles, right? The things through which we travel from one place to another. All these things we use for traveling, right? From going one place to another place. Even you come to school using one of these, right? Some of you use the van, some of you use the bus, some of you use your dad's car, right? And I hope you have already 
I think some of you may have traveled to the train also. What we need to do, we need to read the words given here and here and write these letters in front of them. We need to identify the vehicle and write its letter in front of its name. All right, it's easy, let's do it. Number one, a van. Which one is van? D, B, F, G, C, E, or A? Which one is a van? B, very good. So let's start B. Let's write B in front of a van, okay? Number two, a cycle. Which one is a cycle? Uh, students, one more thing. When we finish writing the answer, we can cross it out from here so it will get easier for us to choose the remaining ones. Let's look for cycle now. Which letter is the cycle? D, G, C, E, A or F? It's A. Very good. Clap for yourself. You are doing very good. Number three now. A truck. Which one is a truck? Oh, yes, we forgot to cross out A. Now let's look for the truck. Which one is the truck? D, G, F, C, E. E, very good. Very good. Number four, a motorcycle. Which one is a motorcycle? Did you forget to cross it out again? <laughs> Please cross it out when you're done, all right? Number four is motorcycle. Which one is a motorcycle? Look at the remaining ones. F, G, C, D. F, very good. Let's cross it out first and write the answer in front of the motorcycle. Now we have three more remaining as you can see on the side. A car. Which one is a car? D, G or C? D, G, or C? Which one is a car? Number C. Very good. So we cross it out from here and write C in front of the car. Next, we have a bus. Which one is a bus? We have only two remaining, D and G. D and G. It's G. Very good. A train. Which one is a train? Come on, come on. See, we crossed out all the, the remaining one is D. Very good. So students, we have finished page number 69. I hope you all understood each point and you understood what phonics are. Let's read what phonics are once more. Shall we read together? Phonics are the words with same sound. These are all the phonics, all right? Then in exercise B, I hope you all have already written sentences for each of these words. I hope you all have made them correctly and wrote it in an extra paper with you. Exercise C, we, we were supposed to fill the sentences with either OU or OW. I hope you all have done it correctly. Please check after you are done, okay? In exercise D, we needed to match the pictures with the correct letter next to each of its name. And I hope you all have done it correctly. All right. Now, see you again, students, in our next class. In the next class, we will be doing page number 70 and 71. And let me tell you something very exciting, that it will be a story time. I know this excites you a lot. You like stories a lot. So... In the next class, we'll be doing the story. Until then, take care of, your, uh, sorry, take care of yourself and see you again. Bye.